bunch of otters. They're the ultimate sliders. In deep snow, the otter belly slide is a great way to get around. You know what? It's really hot back here in Animal Junction. Yeah, check out Lost and Found. He's pretty hot, too. Do you know how we know? He's panting. Panting is a dog's way of keeping cool when it's hot. Dogs pant, humans sweat. Hey, boy, what's up? I think Lost and Found wants us to call somebody. Zabu! Zabu! Zabu -mabu! <laughs> so, Zabu, do you see anybody heading this way? He won't yak till he's had his snack. I'll go get one. Zabu, did you see anybody? Anybody? I bet I know what Zabu'd like. Garbanzo beans! Hey, Zabu, you want these garbanzo beans, don't you? Here's one. See you later, Lost and Found. Give me Zabu Mafu! <laughs> Zabu, what's got you jumping around well, so much? I'm heating up. It was kind of cold out there, so I'm leap leaping around to warm up. Not like the creature I saw on my way here. Who could it be? Who could it be? Wah -wah! This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, he had a big head with huge jaws. He was bumpy and scaly with a flicky tongue. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He was a big headed, huge jawed, scaly bodied creature. Do you know who he is? He was black with spots all over. Bumpy and scaly all over. Big head with huge jaws. <laughs> who could. A heal a monster. Wow. Humongous sheik, a mystery animal seal. He's slow moving, but look at that tongue. It's always going. I love his head. It's huge. And now look at this tail. It stands up off the ground. He holds it way up when he walks. Wow. Hey, you don't see that very often. He's climbing. Awesome. Wow. Wow. Look what he can do with his tongue. Taste the air like a heel monster. A lot of reptiles, like snakes and lizards, use their tongues to check out what's going on around them. That's their way of smelling. Hey, Chris, Martin, I almost forgot. I saw a friend of ours in the forest, huh? There she is. A snow, a snow leopard. leopard. Wow. Hey, oh, oh, wait for me. Welcome back, Snowstorm. I can't believe my mind. We have two different visitors. <laughs> You're right about her being different from Gila. A snow leopard and a Gila monster couldn't be more different from each other. A snow leopard is a high climbing, cold climate wildcat. But a Gila monster is a slow moving, hot climate reptile. Hey, 
Chris, what's climate? Well, Zav, a climate has to do with the weather in the places creatures live. Hmm. Rainforests and sandy deserts have hot climates. Oh, I live in a hot climate. And snowy mountaintops have cold climates. Hmm. Climate. <laughs> because they live in different climates, snow leopards and Gila monsters need different things to survive. Take hot climate creatures. They have all kinds of ways to survive in the heat. A prairie dog goes underground where it's cooler. A lion rests in the shade and pants to cool down. An elephant gives himself a soothing dust bath and flaps his huge ears to cool off. And just like the heel monster, a shingleback skink has spiny scales on her body that help keep the moisture in. Don't forget about the fat in the skink's tail. That feeds her when there isn't enough food or water around. You can see it all on the Gila monster. Yeah, he's all scales. Yeah, scales to keep the water in and the heat out. And he stores fat in his tail. On the fur side. A snow leopard has extra long fur on her belly. It's three inches long. That's so her belly doesn't freeze when she drags it through the deep snow. You see, cold climate creatures have different ways to survive. An otter has thick waterproof fur, which helps her stay warm in freezing cold water. And a polar bear has a thick layer of fat under thick fur. A lynx, just like the snow leopard, has smaller ears and shorter legs than warmer climate cats. That helps keep the heat in her body. Hello, brothers. Yeah. My mind is telling me we have a problem. Well, if Gila lives in a hot climate, wouldn't it be better if it was hot in Animal Junction? You're right, Zabu. And if Snowstorm lives in a cold climate, wouldn't it be better if it was cold in Animal Junction? Exactly, Zab. We need to find a way to make Animal Junction right for a Gila monster and right for a snow leopard. We need to make Animal Junction hot and cold. Of course! We'll make half of Animal Junction hot and dry for the Gila monster, and we'll make the other part cold and snowy for the snow leopard. Hot and cold. <laughs> ah, this side will be for Gila and Chris, and this side will be for Snowstorm and Martin. Eh, but how do we do that? I know. Huh? How about this? Now, where do we put that? Here it is. Ah. This sun intensifying machine will help heat things up around here. Ah, it puts out a lot of heat. Now, one more thing. We'll use this pole to get some sun in here. What? <laughs> I'm helping. All right, now let's just let the sunlight in. Oh, wait, Chris, wait. Oh. Sorry, Zob. It's okay. I meant to do that. Ah, sunshine. Perfect. Hey, I wonder if the snack machine has something that would make Gila even more comfortable in Animal Junction. <laughs> Sand! That's exactly what he needs! Only an animal junction. Hey, brothers! The snack machine did it! There's sand everywhere! <laughs> so it's perfect for a Gila monster who lives in a hot, dry place. But I don't know about me. I don't know how long I can last in this hot climate. Now for Snowstorm. Oh, yeah. Let's see. What'll it take to make this place cold and snowy for a snow leopard? Hey, I know. Let's try the snack machine again. If it worked for Gila, maybe it'll work for Snowstorm. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, this Martin is working! <laughs> nice and cold, cold, cold. <laughs> really nice and cold for Snowstorm. <laughs> oh, hey, we did it. Half of Animal Junction's hot and dry for Gila, and the other half's cold and snowy for Snowstorm. <laughs> Check it out. Snowstorm side is so cold, the pond froze. And Gila's side is so hot, the mud puddle dried up. Yeah, Animal Junction is hot and cold. Now everybody's happy. Hey, who? Hubba hubba. I love the hot and the cold. <laughs> Sand pile, here I come. <laughs> I missed it. Well, I guess I'll try again. <laughs> I love playing in the sand. <laughs> Let's go, Gila. Everybody should play in the sand. <laughs> it's fun to make things out of sand. <laughs> hey, Gila, I made you a friend. 
<laughs> Talk about hot sand creatures. <laughs> well, Zabu likes it about as much as Heal Monster. But I don't know about Chris. Woo. And I'm cold. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, Snowstorm, that's my tail! Spilling on my <laughs> Snowstorm! Look what? at that big cat play! You know though, but I wish I had a thick coat of fur like that, because I'm getting cold. Whoa! And where'd I put my snow gear? Well, while you're getting your snow gear, I'll tell about one time in Zabu land. I was leaping along, leap, <laughs> leap, 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 leap. But then I stopped, because I decided I wanted to visit a cold climate, and that was on top of Mount Zabumafu. But then Wiggy flew by. <laughs> But Wiggy, it's very cold on the top of Mount Zabumafu. Okay. Well, I have fur to keep me warm, but it's too cold up there for you. And my feathers will keep me warm, Zabu. Uh, oh, okay then. Let's go. Oh, oh, Zabu, oh. Oh, I want to go too. But Google, it's very cold on Mount Zabumafu. Oh. Well, Wiggy has feathers to keep her warm, oh. and I have fur to keep me warm. Oh. But it's too cold up there for you. Oh, oh it's no problem, Zabu. Uh, I've been eating uh. Googleberries all day, so I'm, my fat will keep me warm. <laughs> oh yeah. All right then, let's go. Oh, oh but uh, I might need some help. Ah, 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 oh, thanks. Wiggy. So we climbed and climbed and climbed. Oh, 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 I'm just big. Oh, oh, oh. And as we climbed, it got colder and colder. Oh, big but our fur, feathers, and fat kept us warm. And then we heard a friendly voice. Hi, everybody. Oh, welcome to my cold climate home. Yeah. It was Snow Lemur. Hey, Snow Lemur. Uh, come on up. Come on up, everybody. Come on, everybody. Uh, oh, I love it when visitors come. And we all jumped around and had a lot of fun. Enjoy yourself. The end. Now Snowstorm has it just the way she likes it. But I have to dress like this. Snowshoes! Now I've got big, wide feet like a snow leopard. And so do I. Yeah. <laughs> a snow leopard's feet are so big because it keeps her from sinking into deep snow, just like these snowshoes do for me. Ah! As long as I don't trip over them. <laughs> like I can just figure out how to walk in these things. Wow. Well, these are nice, but they're very itchy. Oh, and this too. Phew. Oh, well, and now what about these? Yeah. Oh. How's it on the hot side, Chris? Whew. I'm burning up in this heat. How do you do it, Hila? I gotta find a way to keep cool. I'll help you, Chris. <sighs> Here I come. Hey, Chris, where's Hila going? He's burrowing, Zabu. Burrowing? Yeah, burrowing. <gasps> That's it. Huh? That's what I have to do. I have to burrow in the sand. Hmm? Gila monsters burrow in the sand and other dark places to keep cool. Keep cool? But the sand is hot. But not underneath, Sabu. If you put your hand in the sand, you find out it's cool way down deep. Hey, you're right. It is cool in the sand. Yeah, and it's not just the Gila monster that knows this trick. A meerkat in Africa picks a shady spot, digs away the hot sand on top, and stretches out on the cool sand underneath. Cool sand on a hot belly feels really good. spend about 98% of their time underground. So that's what I have to do. I have to burrow like a Gila monster. Okay, Chris, you ready? Lay it on me, Zob. Dig, 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 dig. <laughs> I love digging. Dig, 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 dig. <laughs> All done. Thanks, Zob. Now I'm cooled down just the way Gila does it. <laughs> I'm feeling hot and coldish. Yeah. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel hot and coldish. How about you, hot and coldish? I feel hot and coldish. Hot and coldish. I'm a hot loving lizard and a cold loving cat. <laughs> Well, there goes the Gila monster back to his underground lair. And Snowstorm's heading to the mountains.
There they go, back to living free and in the wild. Incoming! Duck! Duck where? Oh. You can't fool me, he's not a duck. He's a snowy owl. See how his whole body is covered with feathers? Only his eyes, his beak, and his talons are showing. And it's all those feathers that keep him warm in the snow. Yeah. Oh, and he kept the message from the animal helpers warm, too. Yeah, yeah. let's see what they're up to. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here. Sure is hot out today, isn't it, Scotty? Sitting here in the shade is the best thing we can do. Scotty really feels the heat. I mean, he is wearing a fur coat. You drink all your water, I'll go get you some more. When it's hot outside, Scotty doesn't want to run around a lot. Either do I. Most dogs love going for a car ride. I know Scotty does, but I never leave Scotty in a car on a hot day. That could make him really sick. Here you go, boy. We know how to keep cool in the heat, don't we? That makes me want to check out more creatures. My mind smells a trip. To, to the, the closet. closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. How are we going to get to the closet with all this sand blocking the door? I know. Dig it, brothers. It's the dry season on the African savanna, and it is hot. <laughs> Surviving is tough this time of year because the temperatures are high, and there's not a lot of water around. Everybody's looking for ways to cool off. Chris, we out. I think we lost something. I'll check it out. Oh, no. Our water. How are we going to survive in the heat without water? Hey, I know. OK. We can drive to the nearest water source. Not so fast, Martin. The engine's overheating. Oh. There's only one thing to do now. Yep, we got to survive the heat like the African creature. Let's do it. Whoa, a termite mound. It's made of termite spit and mud, and it's hard as cement. If only we were termites. Yeah, that way we could control temperature, just like they do. It's amazing what they can do. You see, a termite colony controls the temperature inside their mound by opening and closing ventilation tunnels. This keeps it cool inside when it's hot outside. <sighs> oh, man. Think we're going to make it? As long as we keep thinking like creatures. Lions. They've got a great piece of shade. Shade. Let's get in there. Well, they've got their piece of shade. We'll take ours. <laughs> Lions don't like to share. Oof. <sighs> That's better. Lots of African creatures escape the heat of the sun by waiting out the day in the shade. Like African wild dogs and rhinoceros. You know, I'm already feeling tired and lazy like a lion. No wonder they sleep all day. An elephant! What? If anybody can find water, an elephant can. Let's follow him. Hurry up, Chris. We don't want to lose him. Right behind you. Uh, hope we get there soon. I'm so thirsty. Well, an elephant always remembers where the watering holes are. <gasps> Look! <laughs> the water the hole! We made it! But it looks like we're going to have to wait a little while. Elephants have a hierarchy at the water hole and we're probably last in line. <laughs> Elephants are big creatures, which makes them big drinkers. See that one pushing? He's saying, get out of my way. Other creatures just have to wait their turn, like that hyena. But when the elephants finish, he gets his chance. So do a kudu and a giraffe. Whether you're a bird or an antelope, 
A lot of creatures need water on a hot day in Africa. I hope they're done soon. <sighs> you know, by the time we get our chance at the water hole, I'm not even gonna be hot and thirsty anymore. Yeah, and the sun's going down. You know, nights can get pretty cold in Africa. Hey, why don't we head back to Animal Junction? Let's go. It's filled with water! Zabu's swimming with water creatures! Hi, Billy Fishers! Come swim with us! Everybody to the pool! We're coming in, Zabu! Alright! Ah, whoa! <laughs> that was Mungatika! Brothers, me and the fish are over here in the pool with Splish and Splash! <laughs> the African penguins! They love swimming in the cold water! Yeah, but not the cold weather. In fact, African penguins spend a lot of their time on hot African beaches, but most of their time in cold ocean currents. Hmm. They love the hot and the cold. Hot and cold. Where are you going? Hey, wait for me. <gasps> Brothers, the penguins look the same. Well, which one's which, huh? This is Splish. Splish is the girl, and she's a little skinnier. And this is Splash, and he's a lot beefier, this guy. Brother and sister. Oh, well, now I can see the difference. Penguins are birds, right? So they have feathers. Sometimes it doesn't seem like they have feathers, but if you look closely, all these little things are tiny little feathers. And even their flippers, which seem so smooth, they're made out of feathers, too. Because the feathers are so close together, they help keep the penguin warm in cold water. Ah, show me the feathers! Show me the feathers! Ah! Now take a close look at the penguin's eyes. They have a special eyelid called the nictitating membrane. It's clear, and it helps a penguin see underwater. See it? Penguins are really good at climbing around on rocks. They have to be, because a lot of times, that's where a penguin nest is. You don't really think of penguins as jumpers, but watch this. Ready? Did you see that jump? All right. Check out her beak. See the hook on the end? It helps her catch fish. Do you want to have a close look at penguin feet? Check it out. They're specially designed webbed feet for steering in the water. You want to show us how you steer with those feet? Ready for the water? Let's see. There you go. A penguin has to be a great swimmer because the only food he eats lives in the water, like fish and crustaceans. His short legs and webbed feet steer him, and his flippers help him move. A penguin is right at home in the water. Reminds me of one time in Sabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 and I thought I'd leap over the pond when suddenly I was grabbed whoa, by a giant tentacle. Vivi said, Hi, Sabu. Bet you didn't expect that. No, I didn't, I said. But since I'm here, why not go for a swim? Hey, Slimantha! Why don't you come for a swim with Phoebe and me? No, I don't think so, Zabu. I'm afraid of the water. Afraid? But why, I ask? Well, I don't know what's in here. Yeah. What? Hey, Slimanda, don't be afraid. Why don't you come and see my underwater home? Yeah, it's really great. Well, okay, since you asked. So Slimanda did a spinning back twist in a jelly roll tuck. And I did a full twisting double back from the pike position. Yay! Coming through. Fun! <laughs> and we played in Phoebe's underwater home all day and had lots of fun. Yay! Yay! The end. Yeah! <laughs> Great story, Zabu. Sounds like Phoebe likes the water as much as the penguins do. And I had as much fun swimming with Splish and Splash as I did swimming in Zabu land. <laughs> I can't believe my mind. And tromping around with that snow leopard was really cool. Hanging out with the Gila monsters was cool too. That wasn't cool, that was hot. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine from the 
tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We all have different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Splish and splash. Hi, brothers. See you later, Zabu. Stay cool, buddy. And we'll see you later, too. Hi, my name is Camille, and this is my poodle, Ginger.